Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, where we have a park with a very unique ride. <laughs> well, actually, it's not unique, but it is for us because we have over here a train <laughs> transport type ride thing. <laughs> we pretty much never use this, but this is the first time that we actually do use it and it is unique because it is the only means of access to this section of the park. Now <laughs> this section of the park doesn't really, well it, is, it isn't much, <laughs> but it is something and um, yeah it's a cool new concept you know, no access by road, only by transport ride. So, now there is one thing that uh, I kind of thought of after I had um, set it up. And that is that we need to lower this to uh, 30 seconds. Because I cannot have this train wait more uh, and longer so that it will just queue up over here. Because we need it to be quite tight in uh, when it runs, you know, to keep an even distribution and all that. So, having set that up, um, this is kind of a bare section of the park and we really need to get some more rides in here, but in terms of thrill rides, yeah, it's slim pickings. Uh, so, what we need over here, in lack of anything better, is a coaster. Now we have plenty of options to choose from, but I think that something cool, something epic like a stand-up steel coaster, I think that is what we are going to need. Now, we need to be very careful on the lateral G's with this one. And I kind of also would love to incorporate the terrain on this one. How cool would it be if this coaster goes underground somewhere over here in alien land and then resurface over here, you know, go around the trees, something like that, and then go back into the mountains and then resurface over here. Over here it would be in fairy style, over here it would be evil alien techno world style. Yeah man, I mean that sounds like a plan. Uh, another good thing of this park is we don't need to check for pricing, we don't need to check for vandalism, because we got guards everywhere, handy dudes everywhere, everything is clean, everything is well maintained, <laughs> there's no need to check any of this, everything is free anyway, so... Yeah, man, do I love this park. So we're going to build this. And one thing that I realized right after building this, and as a viewer also pointed out to me, um, this coaster has a station that is ridiculously long. I mean, uh, excuse me there. I had a sudden attack of yawning. <laughs> Never happened before. Uh, anyway, I mean, this terrain is like pretty much the longest we'll probably ever have on any coaster. And if we count this, it is like, I don't know, seven, eight tiles long. So we're stationed over here. At most, say the trains are slightly longer than they are over here. At most, it needs to be nine tiles. To be safe, and which I think will already be slightly overkill, we could make it ten tiles. But nine is the absolute limit. That means that all of a sudden we don't need like this massive long straight. We could just have a station over here. This be it, it'd be good enough. Oh man, <laughs> that raises a lot of possibilities. Now I want this to become a duo coaster. So I'm gonna build it over here. I think facing this direction with a lift. And then ideally... I mean, the thing is, uh, you know, we can't have that massive G, so ideally I'd not have it drop down in this direction, because then we're like, my, wow, we, oh man, <laughs> how far are we going to get this alien world? I think till about here. So if we're going to go up, well, we could actually go down, but then we would need to go up to, uh, so we won't. I, what I kind of want to do is I want to have like uh, two coasters, one that goes more into this direction, the other one that goes more into this direction. Question is, <laughs> which one are we going to build first? If the lift is in this direction, it means that the one going over here will have more turns, right? So the one going over here will be the stand-up steel one, which is the one that we'll build first. Right. Okay, so <laughs> that was a bit of a tactical decision making uh, that we just did, uh, but it's done. Now we... Oh, if we put this over here... 
I don't know, that is quite low, but I'm gonna terraform this slightly over here. We don't need a crazy long station, we just established that. So if I were to see over here, we got this three, this is seven. Now, uh, I don't know. All right, you know what? That's easy to find out. How long can the trains be? Six cars, all right? If I make this uh, longer, can I then have seven cars? No. Oh, but th now we can have two trains. Still six cars, right. That means that we don't need to lengthen this up any further, so here we are. Right, we'll lower this like this. <laughs> I mean, the music though is kind of like hmm, unnerving. <laughs> This Martian uh, music is, and I don't know that now that we're going outside of the area, we <laughs> gotta need to paint this, of course. So that is on the agenda. Now the question is, of course, how high are we gonna go with this coaster? I say till about here. I mean, I don't really have a game plan for this. Do we have? Uh, we also don't have any special track pieces or anything. But look, these G's are acceptable. Then we're gonna have a drop like this. Yes, on right photo section. Uh huh. You know what? Let's see if we we can drop this even lower. I mean, that is even more. Oh, look at that. Touching the ground pretty much. That is what I like. Alright, photo section, yes. Then, uh, we need this to go up again. Steep, like this. Now, at height... I mean, what height do we are we getting at? Height 26, huh? Well, that is quite, quite high still, but... Uh, now we could go to the other side. Uh, I don't really want to do that though, <laughs> so we won't. <laughs> uh, we'll go down here once again. Another steep drop. Now we have a top height of height 30. So if I were to have this go up a little bit and then go to the other side. I mean, if we do a half loop right now, we can see what the highest point would be. I think this would be bloody perfect, if you ask me. Just to be sure, we'll lower it one. There. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And then we'll go up with this once again. But this, I mean, this is like a fairly regular design, I guess. It's just that, you know, this is quite a difficult coaster to develop. Now, I also want this to go underground. So what we'll do? I mean, wow, this is this is turning out to be a classic, man. This coaster. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go underground by lowering it over here. We don't need to go that deep with this one, and then we'll go straight for a little bit. You know what? We'll actually have this go underground quite deep. So it will just go straight, nothing fancy. Uh, now, I also need to keep in mind that we're gonna have another station over here, so I can't do too many shenanigans, right? Because <laughs> that will lead to issues. And issues I do not like unless they're positive. Which, <laughs> all the, the issues, I mean, I think by definition are not positive, but... Oh, alright, that's, that's definitely an issue. Well, I will smooth out the terrain afterwards. Uh, yeah, that's looking good. I believe. Yeah, we can even get away with that. Uh, afterwards. Why should I do that afterwards if I can do it right now? I uh, will fix this. Uh, let's disable the supports <laughs> so that I can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> I mean, it's always nice to actually see what you're doing, right? <laughs> Better than to not see what you're doing. Right. Okay. Supports back on. This was the view mode that we were having. Now, there's two ways we can go from over here, right? Personally, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to... Or maybe do like, I don't know, a half loop over here? Something like this. We could pull this off. This is, I think, in terms of speed, not an issue. And then, if we then do this... 
Uh, we kind of have to. We can't re really put on another half loop, so we kind of have to. Uh, and then we'll have a wide curve go around. And then a somewhat sh tighter one, which will net us right at where we were. That ain't good. Well, this ain't good at all. I don't like this. We need to get uh, back into the underground once again. So what we'll do here, just so that we at least can keep this coaster going, we'll have one more drop incoming. Oh, we won't, <laughs> because right now, the <laughs> first thing that's going to happen <laughs> is this. Because I know what was going to happen if I do not do this. <laughs> yeah, that is going to happen, exactly. Uh, which means, actually, that we kind of need this to be the case. Well, um, I guess we'll just have to overshoot it over here. Yeah, this is the way. I can see it now. And then we'll have to heighten that up. Right. Okay, so far I'm liking this. This, this is looking rather good. It's a bit complicated, though. Because right now we're like, I want to get this back to the station before it starts using up too much space. <laughs> but um, what I'm doing here right now is I'm just extensive, uh, extending this coaster. <laughs> like, you know, keep adding stuff to it, you know. It's like <laughs> not really getting ready to go to the station like this. Also, uh, are we like, yeah, it seems like right now. I'm still below that loop, am I not? So that means that I might have to... Oh no, I'm just building below our own tracks over here. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, we'll, we'll leave uh, it a bit earlier here. There. Right now we should shoot right in between it. Um, now the bad thing is, if we want to go back to the station, we've got to do it right now. Which means that we'll have to shoot into the underground somewhere. Which I kind of would like to have happen, like right over here. Go into the underground, break, make a curve, and then get back. So what we'll do is, before the underground happens, we'll have one last uh, drop. So we'll go up here. Uh, just to be sure, we'll lift it. I think right now, it, it should pull itself right over over here, though. Well, I'm not really that sure about that, but therefore we have the lift. <laughs> just so that if it doesn't make it, I at least know <laughs> that it will have enough speed. Also, I'm not entirely sure that... Yeah, that is also a bit of an issue. We need to heighten that up. And this... Right, this means terrain fixing. <laughs> I guess that much is clear. You know, there was a moment when I was thinking about making this a lake. Uh, I thought against it, obviously, and now I'm pretty much just ruining everything that was crater-esque about this. <laughs> well, I, uh, it, trust me, it had something that was crater-esque about this. I could still fill it up, I guess, but it would look a bit weird <laughs> with a coaster in the water. It doesn't look good in this game, trust me. Now, oh, what we could do is add a loop. If we were to... Oh, we could resurface right over here, right now, and add a loop. Oh man, that is so gonna happen. I'm sorry, <laughs> that is so going to happen. Right, we'll fix up the terrain some more. Uh, let's see, that means this one, this one. I, mean, I say fixing up, I'm just smoothing it out, really. But then again, this is Alien World, you know. We, I feel like we, should, we shouldn't really be building with the terrain in an Alien World-like landscape. So, let's see, that's the one that I need, yes. So, we'll just use the decals that the scenery pack gives us for uh, any building-like things. Oh man, now if I were to build a half loop right now, huh? That would put me to height 18, I see. Perfect. Right. Uh, to the other side, please. That is so possible. 
Right, now it is time that we break this thing, and we'll break it gentle. But we are definitely going to break it, because what we're going to do with this is, um, well, it's going to have to go into the underground. And this will just be a simple one, like this. Yeah, I, gu I guess that's good enough, in a way. Raise all over the land. What? Is it this one? Yeah, it is actually. Well, that, that's acceptable because it needs to kind of like resurface over here too. So that's all right, I guess. But right now it should go through here at speed 20. Wow, man, am I curious to what the ratings on the... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we had plenty of space. We could have even shortened this station a little bit. But man, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a coaster of which there is no other. The... Ooh. Uh, I might have just doomed this very coaster. And we're gonna need the entrance and exit over here on its counterpiece, but... <laughs> Alright. Now, this, in my eyes, this is a pretty classical design, really, you know, for these coasters. Oh wow, look at that. It's actually quite a lot of speed it still has there. More than I had anticipated, really. Alright. It's going high, it's going fast. Too fast, perhaps. Yeah, definitely too fast. It's going faster than I thought it would. This whole highest point thing should have been just a tad bit lower. Or should it not have been? Uh, there's only one way to find out. Um, we're gonna watch another test ride to keep you in suspense, and I will hook this one up. Oh, I'm hearing music bleed over. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> my ears! No! <laughs> Save my precious headphone. <laughs> uh, let's see. That will work. Let's just think about how we are going to get this to... Uh, to hook up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> those are good questions that require good answers. Um, this is easy. I guess we could just have it come. We don't want this to be ultra long, so I guess the simplest hookup would be right over there. We're gonna go for simple because I like that. And then up. Oh, we need to go up three. I see. Right, well, in that case, we could go one up here, and then two more over here. Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll just lower this twice. There. And then we'll lower this once. There. Right. This isn't long. This isn't short either. This is perfect. <laughs> the right middle ground. Now, if only the ratings on the coaster are perfect, too. I mean, that would be bloody brilliant. Um, oh, and this one, we're gonna make it wide, <laughs> just because. Uh, it's also gonna be a no-entry one. Right, coaster, give me your ratings and... Oh. Yeah, that's the speed. It is the speed. Um, It is the vertical Gs as well, because look at this. We've managed those... Uh, Lateral G's like, oh, like perfect, pretty much. So what we need is we need to lower the total height of this one. Oh, that's going to be a pain because what we then need to do, this drop ain't going to happen. Not that long, in any case. So that means if we're going to lower it, because what we're going to have to do is instead of height 30... Uh, let's go too lower. Let's see how that does. Right. Let's see how... Yeah, alright, alright. Th this is the way. This is how it's gonna have to be. I don't like this. Uh, I can't even get that to work right now. So, we would need to extend that by one, I guess. Otherwise, I don't even know. Yeah. That, this is far from ideal, but I feel that this is the way we're going to have to do it. Now, the question is, of course, is it going to make it through uh, the terrain? 
That is the big question. Uh, we're also gonna hire a new mechanic, a new handy dude. Just to keep everything clean here. There. Oh man. Yeah, it is because of the height. I'm really worried that it won't make it. Oh, tense, tense moments. Look at that. Speed is much more acceptable right now, though. Yeah, that, that should not be... Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, nice. After all, this one, this might have been a really good move. Just the thing this coaster needed. Oh, look at that. Bloody perfect. And then another steep drop. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And then fast through the loop. Oh, man, this coaster, it is beautiful. It is just the thing that we needed. Right, okay. Now, seeing how this is going to be just the thing that we need, we're going to put this to 10 minutes. And we're going to open this up. This isn't really, you know, something epic or spectacular that I expected it would be, but the next coaster that we're going to build right next to here. Oh, now that is a bad sign that we just got here. A guest who is lost. Yeah. All right. What I'm seeing here right now is proof that this whole thing isn't really working out. You know, this whole closed off the rest of the park kind of thing. Maybe it is. Maybe... I don't really know. Let's see. Guest... Hmm. <laughs> you are... Yeah, you, you're, what, what's happening is that he doesn't want to go on this ride and now he's trapped over here. Alright, that's bad. That's really bad. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to go to the rescue over here. I've tried this concept and this is the one catch that I was fearing over here. Guests get lost and then they can't find the exit of the park. And that is really, you know, the end of it. Um, if I could, you know, it's a bit of a shame that it works like that, because what I would do if I, you know, if I were a guest in this, I would just get on this train ASAP, you know, it wouldn't be an issue, but the way that the game is, you know, well, you know, it just handles rides and pathfinding and all that, yeah, it, it is like this. Unfortunately, this is, to me, proof that a concept like this will not ever work. So, to that end, we are going to <laughs> rescue the guests. Uh, we're going to lower the terrain right over here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make an exit path. So that the guys who want to can get away. There. It's a shame I have to resort to this, but... Crap. Uh, we need to lower this. There. And then... Uh, <laughs> I'll change the path thing over here. So the guests know that... Oh, actually, I can keep this straight. So the guests know that, hey, we're entering Fairyland. There. It's a shame, really. I mean, this whole train ride is completely obsolete because of this, but if we don't if we don't want to fill this park because guests are getting lost, which is absolutely disastrous for the ratings, let me just tell you that, then this is the right thing to do. It's a shame. It was interesting to see. And I really like the idea of an exclusive section of the park, but... Oh, and by the way... I don't know what the ratings are of our coaster, but when I see a train full of guests, I know that the coaster is good. Or, yeah, what? It is not. It is not good at all. What? How is that? <laughs> it has loops, it has a corkscrew, it has drops. It is intense, but... Hmm... I don't know really, all of a sudden, I mean, in terms of looks, it doesn't look bad. It is ultra intense, that might also have to do with the vertical Gs, who are a bit through the roof, which is mainly because of this loop, really. Alright, let me just edit this a little bit, because what if I were to, I need that last break piece in there. 
But what if I were to make it like this? No. Ah. What if I could... Uh, this... I could get this to work. That means that it's one higher. If it's one higher... I mean, I don't know. How is it looking? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we can't really add brakes over there. Could we add brakes? Yeah, I see a possibility over here. The only thing is, though, I don't really know... Ah, oh, balls. I still don't know. We'll have to make a blind guess over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, balls. No, that's not lining up. We need a mellow curve, and then this... Wow, hold on. We don't need it that, that, <laughs> that crazy. Mellow curve again, and then, wow, how on earth? So we did have place to insert a brake. I don't know why it wasn't possible, or are my eyeballs deceiving me? No, they're not. We can add brakes over here. This is what we should do. We should add them brakes to like 43. Right. Well, that should... Oh. Uh, why is that not working? Ah, uh, maybe it was because it was a banked piece. Right, now this should add a bit of... Uh, this should lower the Gs and this the intensity rating. And what I'm thinking of doing then is adding some more track sections. I don't know. I'm really disappointed by the ratings that we had in uh, for this coaster. That ain't good. I don't like that. I don't like that in the slightest. Right. In any case, what we need over here is a handy dude who is... Oh, how did you teleport magically? Did you saw that? This is what happens sometimes when handy dudes all of a sudden get themselves in positions where they cannot uh, free themselves. Did you saw that? We have just witnessed handyman teleportation. I kid you not. We have that. I don't know what the reason is why they do that, but we all saw it. I put him there and he just moved up there. Oh, and by the way, worked, totally worked. Oh man, that was... Now I know how they do it. <laughs> Your secrets are not safe with me. I know them. Uh, in any case, we should have the ratings over here. I hope they are... No, they're not better. <laughs> We've dropped the Gs significantly. The ratings aren't any better at all. Uh, you know, the thing is... Where, where are those Gs made right now then? It could be right at the start. Could also be at one of those high drops. Yeah, it is actually. It's made like over here, you know, at this first drop. There is where it's made. And then another one of those drops. Hmm, this leads me to wonder, right? I'm thinking here that this coaster might just be not really suited for high ratings granted i mean not high ratings and what we have over here i mean <laughs> there's a difference between that i mean i can s feel your i wouldn't say i really like how it looks you know i think track design is quite good it's just that the ratings man ah oh, they're awful we're gonna have to enhance this a little bit by placing some do that around here, you know, nicening up the area a little bit. Maybe add some rides, something like it. There, now we've painted the terrain. Let's see. Let's see what what the scenery theming thing has to offer for us. A volcano with a uh, tower inside. No, <laughs> the tower is a no show. This didn't work, though. So. Alright, I'm just curious, because we just slammed in a volcano. Has it affected anything? I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't really 
Well, I mean, you who has, are watching the video, you can see because you've just seen the ratings and can wind back the video. <laughs> I can only do it afterwards. But uh, I don't think that made much of a difference. We're gonna try a few other things like place you over here. And then, you know what? Maybe you. And then perhaps you. Bunch of these. Good place. Ooh, if we just heighten this up, we can then add you. Boom. Right, and now we've just added a few random doodads. Yeah, right, so... <laughs> oh, man, that's disheartening, man. This coaster will not ever be a grand coaster. And that's a shame. I like this one, you know. It looks good. It, it, it feels classy. And yet... <laughs> Maybe if we go through the loops, have one synchronized up, it can get, you know, maybe to like a six and a half, close to a seven. Right, how are we going to call an alien space disappointment? <laughs> because that's what it is, really. I'm thinking, like, uh, we could call this a uh, counselor, I don't, I don't know, Palpatine, counselor Palpatine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna call this a Palpatine Council. Palpatine's Council, you know, his council. <laughs> Which was bad anyway, you know, the dark side. Ooh, yeah, the dark side, of course, the dark side. <laughs> the dark side, you say, huh? We have some dark side over here. I like this a lot more, actually. We could make this like bright green with a white touch to it. Because of lightsaber effects and all that. I like that. Palpatine's Council. Now, this time I do have the name list open, you know, that uh, one of you, the viewers, suggested. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't see any names fit for these. But this rather disappointing coaster but um, oh well at least we have one coaster um, I eggheads sure must have been researching all kinds of stuff but <laughs> what the, they have researched what we're going to build of it and how we're next going to expand those are all things that are gonna have to wait for next time when we play more roller coaster tycoon